welcome to my Cambodia trip. Today I'm exploring the dark history of the S21 prison at the Cambodian Genocide Museum. Then I'll be comparing Cambodian shopping centers and seeing how they're different from those in Thailand. Lastly, I'll be embarking on a stormy road trip to Siem Reap. Let's get started. We're checking out of our hotel now and then we're gonna go to a very interesting genocide museum. This on the left is the Russian market, but there's nothing related to Russian stuff here. Park there. This is the Genocide Museum. Look at all this barbed wire. Let's go check it out. Slang, also known as S21, was once a school in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, but during the Khmer Rouge regime, it was transformed into one of the most notorious sites of torture and death. The building itself is a symbol of despair. Barbed wire was installed on the windows, not to keep the prisoners from escaping, but to prevent them from taking their own lives. These walls, once meant for learning, became a prison of unspoken horror. Inside, prisoners were confined to these tiny bricked cells. These spaces offered no light and no comfort, just isolation and silence. For many, these cells were the last place they would ever see. In other parts of the prison, rusted metal beds, chains and ammunition boxes used as toilets remain as chilling evidence of the conditions. In these very beds, Prisoners live their final moments. The photos on the walls serve as tragic reminders of lives lost here. Out of respect for the victims and their families, I've chosen not to show these images. This wooden arc was used to hang prisoners by their arms, often to the point of unconsciousness. The brutality here left no escape, only more suffering. Even the hallways and staircases of tool slain carry the weight of unimaginable tragedy. Walking through these spaces, you can almost feel the presence of those who once shuffled down these halls, unsure of their fate. These 14 gravestones honor the final victims of S21, whose bodies were found upon the prison's liberation. They were the last of an estimated 17,000 people who died within these walls. Tool slang stands as a sobering reminder of the atrocities of the Khmer Rouge regime. May it serve as a memorial to the victims and warning to future generations. We must never forget. The shopping malls in Phnom Penh are very, very similar to Thai shopping malls. All the big brands and all the food chains are very similar. So it would actually be hard to tell the difference between a Thai and a Cambodian shopping mall. Yeah? Hi, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm Greg. What's your emotions? I'm frustrated. Why are you frustrated, Taylor? I Google Translate, do we need to pay for parking? They don't understand it in their own language. We have a parking ticket and usually in Thailand we stamp it or scan it so that we don't have to pay for the parking. We get like certain hours free, but here Nobody even knows what a parking ticket is. Nobody knows, clueless. And apparently I think there is no free parking. You just park here and then you exit and you have to pay whatever amount you have to pay per hour. It's possibly a very expensive place to park at. Because in Thailand you get a certain amount of hours for free. If you're shopping here, you bring a receipt and it's eight free parking. Hours free. scary building.
We're stuck in rush hour. But then after this traffic jam, which is about 10 minute congestion, five hours to Siam Reap. Are you excited to go to Siam Reap? Yes. Are you excited to go to Siam Reap? Yeah. We're going to Siam Reap, Angkor Wat, and we're gonna go see many old ruins, and then we will probably buy some coffee beans there. What else are we gonna do? Are Siam you gonna Reap? film the ruins for them to see? I'll film a couple ruins for you. Yeah, fine. Might as well film some Cambodian stuff, right? I heard you don't like your car anymore. I like this car, it's nice. Your car you don't like anymore. I like my car. I like all cars. I the like older all cars. the better, it's like wine, you know? So much more powerful than Thai fairs. Uh, yeah. Blurry, but okay. What's going on, Greg? There's lots of traffic here. I think it's a huge bus stop. There's many, many people and many buses. Factory. All those people over there. It's factory, and the buses are factory buses, Greg. Maybe, but there's like. They drop people. At Thirty the buses here. Thailand like if you go to like out of Bangkok there's like really big factories and then these factories have buses and they like drop people off right. driving five kilometers per hour Hannah. it's so hard though we're running out of gas The windows are fucked, it doesn't help. <laughs> so we've arrived at the hotel and we'll go check in, watch a movie and sleep.